look at a number system called the quaternions. What are quaternions? So we know what real numbers are. Real numbers are basically 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, 1.3, 1.4 and anything which can be represented by a line. One dimensional numbers. Any point on the line is a representation of a real number. Most people are familiar with real numbers. Real numbers can be represented, uh, are represented using R, the real uh, value, the, the real field and you can have uh, numbers which constitute all possible numbers which are online. People familiar uh, with, um, I mean people in the sciences would know numbers called complex numbers. What are complex numbers? Complex numbers uh, are numbers of the form a plus b i where i squared equals minus 1. So these numbers are two dimensional because you can represent them on a plane where you have the y axis sort of corresponding to the complex axis and this being the real axis so you get something called an argon plane. Now these are complex numbers and most people in the sciences have heard of them. One form of number system which people haven't really heard of is something called quaternions and they are represented by H. Why H? Because quaternions were theorized by a mathematician called Hamilton and he even so crazy behind quaternions that he used to carve them on bridges in his town. So everywhere around his town he used to go and used to carve quaternions. Uh, he was so madly in love with these numbers. So what's the logic behind quaternions? Well, quaternions are four dimensional. So you have real numbers which are one dimensional, you have complex numbers which are two dimensional and you have quaternions which are four dimensional. How do quaternions look like? So you can represent quaternions using A plus B i plus C j plus B k. So in complex you are only this part. In quaternions because we have four dimensions you have to add two more. So if it's only real number you have this. 2D complex you have two dimensions and 4D quaternions you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 dimensions. Now what are i, j and k? Well i, j and k are pretty similar to what we just said where i squared equals minus 1, j squared equals minus 1 and k squared equals minus 1. And how do they relate? Well i into j equals k j into k equals i k into i equals j similarly if we swap them so let's say j into i equals minus k k into j equals minus i and i into k minus j. So these are the rules for quaternions and it's pretty simple to work if work with them if you know these rules and um, yeah one more thing about quaternions is that they are non-commutative. So uh, commutativity means that if you multiply x into y it's the same as y into x. That doesn't work for quaternions. Uh, basically every time you go up a number system you lose the property of mathematics. So from real to complex, you lose the ability to, to take square roots because there's no, it doesn't make sense to take the square root of negative numbers. While if you go from 2D to 4D, like we've gone from uh, complex to quaternions, you lose the ability to commute, to have commutativity. So yeah, that's about it for quaternions for now. Thank you.